93 boxing. I'm back with a quick video. Billy Joe Saunders is going to fight William Monroe Jr. And um, in the same day as Canelo Triple G. Obviously a different time because it's happening in the UK. Props to William Monroe Jr. for coming here. And you know what? I'll be rooting for you if you're listening to this. Which he probably won't be. But yeah. I'll tell you why I'm this. I'll be rooting for him. Even though I'm from the UK. Billy Joe Saunders to me it is a classless arsehole. That's all he is to me. Nothing extra. This is a man who keeps offending people with their sort of ethnicities and start be, starts to be a little bit prejudiced by calling Canelo ginger balls, by calling Triple G pussy Bora. Keep in mind, Triple G's from Kazakhstan, right? So it, it's definitely offensive to say that. And Canelo's, uh, you know, he's got orange hair. Both of them will whoop, tri uh, both, uh, whoop Billy Joe Saunders. So Billy Joe Saunders is kind of like irrelevant to them. So he calls all these people all these things. Now keep in mind, that's kind of, think about it, right? That's prejudice to call Triple G Pussy Borat, for example. Because Triple G, as, as I said, he's from Kazakhstan. And he's got an accent as well from those, you know, those regions. He's born there, right? He's been living there a lot of his life. This guy, Billy Joe Saunders, is an Irish man who a gypsy uh, traveler, right? And all of a sudden, when Chris Eubank talks about him still living in a caravan, this guy gets offended. But you've been calling out all these people and being prejudiced to everyone else in the world? Like, you're, he's a walking contradiction. I'm sorry, this guy's a walking contradiction. This guy, I don't know if he understands, like, having lack of logic. Because this is why this guy has... This guy, I don't know. I mean, I cannot explain how dumb a person can be for insulting everyone else you know, by being prejudiced to them. And all of a sudden, someone's prejudiced to you and you're like... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, that's inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. Like, you've been the most inappropriate guy in boxing. You are worse than Angel Garcia. You're more... Because Angel Garcia be talking about people's race, but most of the time it's like... It's like... More on the po political sense that... Oh, these people come and take jobs and shit. They're, he's basically insulting people with their actions. And you know, I'm not saying that he, Angel Garcia is right to say that one p group of people is like this, another group of people is like this. And he, I'm fairly sure he said racist things, like, unnecessarily. But Billy Joe Saunders is making fun of people's accent. He's making fun of people's, like, hair color. He's, like, he's doing all kinds of shit. That's not in boxing. And guess what he does now? William Monroe Jr. goes in there, comes in here in the UK, and this guy starts insulting him fullest. Calling him, saying that he has lack of heart, saying that um, to bring his mother so Billy Joe Saunders can fuck uh, his mother. Now, that, I've never seen Andrew Garcia say anything as bad as that, ever. Ever. That's the lowest of all lows I've heard in boxing. I mean, I can't remember another, on top of my head, I can't remember, I can't think of another low blow. And speaking of low blows, I'll get to that. I can't think of another low blow like that, you know. And Billy Joe Saunders getting away with a lot of shit, which I feel like he should be fine right now, and... As soon as the fight's over, he should be fine. And I hope William Monroe Jr. wins. Because it's one thing I keep saying, right? That Canelo Triple G should be talking a little bit of shit. So that's me, right? That's me saying that. And I feel like even me feeling that Billy Joe Saunders has went way far. Um, well, you know, he's, he's gone too far, man. He's, he's crossed many lines and is disgusting. I personally don't find it funny. I find it disgusting. I find it pathetic. He's not actually funny. Billy Joe Saunders is actually not funny. He's like... And... You know what? I'll also say this. Like father, like son. You know, when you have an environment... When, you, when you're when you a waste man... When you're a deplorable... Disgusting... Waste man... With disgusting behavior and no respect for others... And, you know, you get offended when someone's saying shit to you, but you're saying shit to everyone all the time. You're, you know, you're probably going to end up with a woman that's similar. Or at least you're going to raise a son that's similar. And just like his father, Billy Joe Saunders' um, son's father, kept throwing low blows verbally, this kid decided to throw low blows Actually, physically to William Monroe Jr. during the weigh-ins. Go check it out. I personally think that's disgusting. That's disgusting behavior. Billy Joe Saunders looks like he raised 
I mean, it's pathetic. That's his fault. But that's Billy Joe Saunders' fault that he raised a kid like that. That's dis- that's thoroughly disgusting. I see a lot of kids, right? And I'm not being racist, but a lot of white kids. And I've seen Asian kids as well and black kids who are spoiled like that. And they feel like they can do whatever they want, even in front of their parents. It's crazy. But, you know, near where I live, there's a lot of white kids that are like that. And um, it's disgusting. I personally find it disgusting. Um, what can I say? Like father, like son. How do you even let your kids go that far? I mean, I know it's one thing for you to say that. When when, when your uh, kid said that, when your kid did that, didn't, why didn't you just say, wait, 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 don't do that? It, no matter how much shit you talk, that's your responsibility. That's really your responsibility. You know, I'm fairly sure Billy Joe Saunders told him to do that. How's a kid going to go up to a grown man and do that type of shit? And... He won't do that without his father, man. That's bullshit. Like, I hope Billy Joe Saunders loses. He pretty much lost to Wolverine. He can't beat no real uh, guy at 160. For real, who's he going to beat at 160? He might beat William Monroe Jr., but who else? He can't beat Canelo. He can't beat Triple G. He can't beat Danny Jacobs. I mean, he ducked Danny Jacobs. End off. Um, who else can he really beat? Chris Eubank Jr., if he goes down to 160 this time, he will definitely beat him more convincingly than he did in the first fight. Billy Joe Saunders is a bit more irrelevant, hence he's calling out Canelo and Triple G. He's only relevant because of Eubank, and he's trying to keep himself relevant by trying to talk shit about Canelo and Triple G. I feel like that's all it is. He's pro- he might be using his son for promotion. Low blows in press conferences, talking about people's mums and making them hate you. And then, you know, this is the crazy thing, right? He's going to be in... Um, he might take a loss or two and people would hate him and shit. And then he will act like as if, oh, you know, this when you're successful in life, people will... Uh, you will have haters, blah, blah, blah. And it's true, you know, when you're successful, you will have haters. And he's going to pretend like he had no part in generating haters for himself in the future. Watch me, mark my words. I'll repeat it again. You know, I'll explain it again. This guy in the future probably is going to act like. Because he's going to have haters, right? He's going to have guys hating on him for sh- for obvious shit, right? And he's going to act like as if he has no. He doesn't understand why haters are hating on him and blah, blah, blah. And pretend like as if he did not bring haters to him. To. To hate on Billy Joe Saunders. That's that, that's the only, that's what's going to happen. Remember I said that, okay? Remember I said that. And I can't stand deplorable guys like that. These are the... Like, they raise... Shitheads in society. I mean, you know, I wish Billy Joe Saunders nothing but the best in terms of his life. I don't... I wish their family were ever the best. But... He's a walking contradiction. He really is a walking contradiction. And I really want to see William Monroe Jr. lose. I mean, win rather, and see Billy Joe Saunders lose. I don't want him to get hurt too badly. I do want him to get hurt a little bit. Billy Joe Saunders never fought no one, though. Apart from Chris Eubank. And personally, I felt like I didn't watch it carefully, but it was a really close fight. And I think Chris Eubank will beat him this time. Billy Joe Saunders ain't shit, man. Let me know what you think. 93 Boxing. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. I'm out. 93 Boxing. I'm back with a quick video. Billy Joe Saunders is going to fight William Monroe Jr. And um, in the same day as Canelo Triple G. Obviously a different time because it's happening in the UK. Props to William Monroe Jr. for coming here. And you know what? I'll be rooting for you if you're listening to this. Which-